Hello everyone. Welcome to UIAS. Let's discuss today's prelims topics. Question 1. What is sealed cover jurisprudence? 1. It is a practice used by the Supreme Court and sometimes lower courts of asking for or accepting information from government agencies in sealed envelopes that can only be accessed by judges. The Supreme Court derives its power to use it from Rule 7 of Order 13 of the Supreme Court Rules and Section 123 of the Indian Evidence Act of 1872. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. One only. B. Two only. C. Both one and two. D. Neither one nor two. The answer is C. While a specific law does not define the doctrine of sealed cover, the Supreme Court derives its power to use it from Rule 7 of Order 13 of the Supreme Court Rules and Section 123 of the Indian Evidence Act of 1872. Question to the world's first international summit on the responsible use of artificial intelligence in the military recently commenced in the A. France B. Germany C. Switzerland D. Netherlands The answer is D. Question 3 with reference to payment aggregators, consider the following statements. 1. Online payment aggregators can onboard digital merchants and accept payments on their behalf after getting a license from the RBI. 2. According to RBI rules, a company applying for aggregator authorization must have a minimum net worth of 15 crore rupees in the first year of application and at least 25 crore rupees by the second year. 3. Under the payment aggregator framework, only firms approved by the RBI can acquire and offer payment services to merchants, which brings them under the direct purview of the regulator. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only B. 1 and 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 3 only Answer is C. Question 4. What is the Special Marriage Act? 1. It governs a marriage where the religion sanctions the marriage rather than the state. 2. The applicability of the act extends to the people of all faiths, including Hindus, Muslims, Sikhs, Christians, Sikhs, Jains, and Buddhists across India. 3. It enables marriage between interfaith or intercaste couples without them giving up their religious identity or resorting to conversion. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 2 only B. 1 and 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 2 and 3 only The answer is D. It governs a civil marriage where the state sanctions the marriage rather than the religion. Question 5. Consider the following statements about IT Act of 1961. 1. Section 133 of the IT Act, 1961, gives the IT department the power to carry out surveys to collect hidden information. 2. The provisions for impounding or seizing the goods were introduced only by the Finance Act of 2002. 3. AM search typically refers to what is called a raid although the word search has not been defined anywhere in the Income Tax Act However, RAID has been defined under Section 132 of the Act. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only B. 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 2 and 3 only Answer is A. A search typically refers to what is called a RAID although the word RAID has not been defined anywhere in the Income Tax Act. However, search has been defined under Section 132 of the Act. Question 6. With reference to pangolins, consider the following statements. 1. Pangolins are nocturnal, toothless mammals that dig burrows and feed on ants and termites. 2. Of the two species found in India, 
The Indian pangolin is recognized as critically endangered and the Chinese pangolin as endangered in the International Union for Conservation of Nature list of threatened species. 3. The commercial trade of pangolins was also banned by the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora in 2017. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only B. 1 and 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 2 only The answer is B. Of the two species found in India, the Indian pangolin is recognized as endangered and the Chinese pangolin as critically endangered in the International Union for Conservation of Nature list of threatened species. In India, they are protected by the Wildlife Protection Act of 1972 which prohibits hunting, trade or any other form of utilization. Question 7 with reference to volatiles, consider the following statements. 1. Volatiles are elements or compounds that change from a solid or liquid state into vapor at relatively low temperatures. To the most common volatiles, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, ammonia, hydrogen, methane, sulfur dioxide, and water are abundant in nature and necessary to living organisms. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 only B. 2 only C. Both 1 and 2 D. Neither 1 nor 2 The answer is C. It was thought that the materials that made up the Earth almost entirely originated in the inner solar system, meaning the distance until the orbit of Jupiter. However, new research suggests that some of the well-known volatiles may have come from beyond. Question 8 with reference to the Lavni folk art form, consider the following statements. 1. Lavni is a traditional folk art form in which women dancers wearing 9-yard long saris in bright colors, makeup, and gangroos perform on dholak beats on a stage before a live audience. 2. As an indigenous art form, Lavni has a history going back several centuries and it attained particular popularity in the Mughal era in the 15th century. 3. Traditionally, performances were held in front of kings or lords and for the entertainment of tired soldiers resting during breaks in fighting. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 only B. 1 and 3 only C. 1, 2, and 3. D. 2 and 3 only. The answer is B. As an indigenous art form, Lavni has a history going back several centuries and it attained particular popularity in the Peshwa era in the 18th century. Thank you, everyone. Do subscribe to this channel. Use code SPLIVE to join an academy.